Hey awesome friends, I am Awesome Danny, and today we have another Harmon. Let's get into it. Alright, so before we go over the Truth Ears Nova, it's actually Truth Ear, singular, so one ear, Truth Ear Nova. I want to give a shout out to our Patreons. One of our Patreons actually purchased a set to send in to us. So thank you so much for making this video possible. That being said, no store brand is affiliated with us or this review. But as always, all opinions, thoughts, whatever, you know, blah, 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 are my own or Sonny's. So what we say is what we think. Thank you guys. All right. So now getting into the truth here, Nova. Just to preface this video, I actually like the set. I I actually do. I like the set, but I have quite a few nitpicks with it. So I wanted to make sure that you guys understand that while I do enjoy the set itself, there is quite a few things that even somebody like me that enjoyed it would like to uh, address. So first of all, price. Truth Your Nova comes in at $149.99, which in my opinion, that's when you start getting into the higher prices. I know a lot of people have different opinions, you know, on what is considered a lot of money. When I first came into the hobby and I got my first IM, which happens to be the Truth Ear Critical Zero. Yeah, the first one, the blue one. That was my very first IM. I was actually looking at the chew and then i was looking at the other zero the seven hertz one that we didn't know was a critical collab at the time i was looking at those two and i was like oh i i guess it can go either way but then i looked at the truth ear zero and i was like i'll splurge the extra money and get this expensive set instead and hopefully i'll be all set we all know that didn't work out that way but still once you get past you know like 50 bucks I feel like you should really, you know, think about, or at least the average person, I know I do, think about if you truly need the, the set or if it's gonna be, you know, beneficial to go. So again, Truth Ear Nova, $150. Uh, overall, box presentation, unpacking, accessories, it's pretty good. I, I liked it, the presentation's nice. It feels like a full, complete package. And that's one thing that I always look for in any set because I want to feel like I'm not only getting my money's worth, but the unboxing is part of the experience. And if that sucks, it hurts the overall experience, in my opinion. Truth Your Nova has a single dynamic driver and four balanced armatures per side. So it's a five driver hybrid. In the box, you get the IMs themselves. They're similar to the before mentioned uh, Truthier Zero. That glittery blue face plate with, you know, the clear uh, cover. Thing is, the build on the Nova is a lot better. It doesn't feel as cheap, but it doesn't quite cross into the more premium feel. So it feels well built, but still feels, I guess, on the lower end of well built. But about average for the price i would say there's a good assortment of accessories with the nova the pouch it comes with is very different than any other case or pouch that i've seen in any other set that i've tried this year which i really liked i like this little pouch it doesn't offer much in the way of protection but i would probably use it for like my beater set you know like some cheap ims i could throw in this little pouch it has a little clip and then it has a little pocket on the inside so you can keep a few accessories separate from the im itself and it fits the im with the cable pretty well very comfortably and soft pouch again not much protection though all right so cable this is one of my main nitpicks with the set the cable was almost amazing almost there's a couple of drawbacks that made it almost unusable for me but the good parts of it are really good. So the cable itself is a little bit longer than the usual IM cable in any set. And I love that at my desk. I loved the little bit of extra length, you know, give me more cable to work with. While mobile or out, you know, it wasn't as great. It was actually sometimes a hindrance because, you know, extra cable gets in the way or whatever. And when putting it away, sometimes it was an issue too. The cable though is also really soft and malleable. 
it has like no memory very easy to manage very easy to use but because of that it would also get tangled quite a bit so depending how you put it away i didn't have too much trouble using that at my desk but for those people that are on the go well if you just like you know wrap it up and throw it into a bag or well, the pouch or the case whatever it might end up tangled so if you're you know gonna grab it pop to pop it on listen so quick some quick tunes during a commute or something expect to untangle the cable first and now to continue with my nitpicks of the cable the ear hooks are too short they end prematurely in my opinion and the hard ear hooks part ends up jabbing me like right in the middle behind my ear it was just unpleasant all right last nitpick well maybe a couple of nitpicks on the cable so cable has some slight microphonics to it it wasn't bad but i know some people hate it so really depending on the ear tips you use also sometimes it would uh be a little bit worse but there's microphonics also the blue it, it's it's a nice blue i just personally don't like the color blue my favorite color is actually red but i was thinking i would love a truthier nova with the left shell blue and the right shell red like truthier if you're watching this right now mr truthier if you can do that i don't know i guess like a custom set or something i would love that i've been looking for a two-tone set like that i like the idea of it just being different just left blue right red i mean they have red right they made truthier zero red it'd be basically just combining those so blue on the left red on the right make it happen please i love you forever all right so going into the build and the fit of the im shells themselves they are pretty chunky the bigger shells i usually don't have any trouble fitting any type of shells and here it's the same there's no no exception here they fit fine for me i had no issues but the, the way that they're shaped ended up pushing against like my ear sometimes in here it'll just get a little sore that was it so after a couple hours of use i would have to take a break but i mean you should be taking a break every once in a while anyways right but again build is quite nice overall the build is pretty nice uh for everything the the pouch the cable the shells it's it's good all right so before getting into the sound breakdown um i did try them in gaming not very much i've been very busy recently i have a lot of a uh, backlog of sets that I need to review. Real life has been a little hectic. Um, so unfortunately I haven't had much gaming time and I know that's the worst, it, it's been horrible. I mean, also with Destiny 2, the current state it's in, it's really hard to want to log in, but that's a different matter. I do know somebody that I actually, we bounce a lot of notes off of each other. Um, so I'm pretty confident in their evaluation of the gaming capabilities or experience in gaming with the truth here nova so i'm going to go ahead and link their channel and the video of their gaming review of the truth here nova hails archive so go ahead go check that out if you want some information on the gaming aspect of the truth here nova i would still consider myself new to this hobby you know i haven't been here that long but i think there was such an arms race to get to a specific type of tuning that now everything that is aiming to that target just has slight variances and it's all kind of blurring together i do enjoy the target that these type of sets go for like my number one set right now it's still the variations which i got at the beginning of the year i still consider it my number one set so just a disclaimer there i'm not trashing this set i'm not saying that it's bad it's just a little bit of preface and i'm gonna go through my nitpicks because i have quite a few and i think it's just because we're all kind of tired of hey look here's another variation of the variations ah can you tell my dad so going into the truth here nova armin cool that means you usually have a good solid emphasis on sub bass and then you have what people call a bass tuck which a lot of people don't like don't ask hobby talk about bass tucks please just just don't please thank you so what that is is going into the mid bass there's a drop and 
that adds separation and clarity to the rest of the frequency response. So sub bass, like on the variations, for example, sometimes feels a little bit unattached. And then you go and drop into the mid bass. It's a little hollowed out. So stuff there feels a little bit too polite, a little bit too thin, anemic, whatever you want to use to describe that. And then you go up into the lower mids, slowly rise into the upper mids, which, you know, has a good amount of gain. So that's basically what you have here with the Nova. Similar to the variations, except less sub bass, which makes it overall sound thinner than the variations. And variations is already, you know, pretty thin, but it just kind of tilts it to where there's even more emphasis on the upper mids and mid treble and makes the overall sound signature a little thinner. Also, treble on the Nova. I, it was okay. It felt a little weird. Like overall, the sound. And this was me, you know, a being with the variations and then a couple other sets just for fun. Um, it seems like the treble and sometimes the mid range on the Nova has a little bit of lack of definement, the sound outline. And again, this might just be placebo and I'm just talking out of my ass here, but it just felt like the sounds were just not as precisely outlined, not by a lot. To me, it was just noticeable while a being while just using only the nova like starting my day off with the nova it was fine there is a lot of forwardness in female vocals male vocals are kind of flat not completely hollow but they are pretty flat so i guess just pretty much neutral maybe borderline lifeless i'm trying to avoid negative terms here but i really want to get the point across and like I mentioned, the treble just felt a little bit off. Uh, I'm not sure what it was, to be honest. I had better results with different ear tips. I tried a lot of different ones, but I just couldn't get it to the point of the variations where everything was really smooth and effortless and a little bit, you know, more concise. So now going into the text. So perceived detail was pretty good. The set feels like it's doing its job presenting the music that I listened to very well. Stuff was separated well. Things, you know, all the little nuances of music were pretty noticeable. I mean, it's nothing like, for example, the SR8 sound rhyme, which has been a very enjoyable experience. On that set, there's a lot of little notes that you can kind of hear the nuances within the notes. It was very weird, but that will be reviewed shortly after uh, this video, I believe. At the price point, Nova is just as expected. It does a good job. Bass feels like it lacks a little bit of depth. Like there's a good solid impact and the initial uh, presentation of it is pretty nice, you know, good slam, boom. But then kind of like leaves you wanting a little bit after. Again, like I mentioned before, just that little bit of fuzziness sound in the mid range and trouble, but I mean, you can't really tell if you're not comparing to a different set really. So overall, it's 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 a good set. It just sounded more budget than premium, I guess. Uh, to me, it's just at 150 bucks. I expected a little bit more. Um, but overall, the packaging is really good. Like again, build is solid. Box is nice. Presentation is nice. Uh, accessories are pretty good, even if the cable kind of sucks. So I'm assuming plenty went into that as well, which you know results in the $150 price. So now a quick comparison. Uh, we're gonna compare with the Chopin because there was a lot of buzz around both of these sets and a lot of comparisons before they were even released. Um, just straight up, I do prefer the sound presentation of the Chopin over the Nova, but they do trade blows in some other aspects and even still within the sound. So let's go over that. Accessories unboxing Nova. I enjoyed it on the Nova more. Um, Chopin was different, unique, but I'm a sucker for waifus. You give me a waifu and it's just gonna really, really, you know, impair my judgment. Uh, build seems nice on uh, on both. I, I, want, I guess I can give it to the Nova over the Chopin just cause Chopin feels a little bit less refined, I guess. It's like a, you know, 3D printed shell and then a faceplate slapped on it. While the Nova, it's like, feels like a one solid piece that's been, you know, polished. 
I mean, it, it doesn't feel super premium, but it's just a little, little bit more put together. So I guess Nova wins in the build. Fit and comfort, Chopin is just a lot better. It's a smaller shell. It does have a weird long nozzle, but I didn't have any problem with that. And I feel like most people won't either, as long as you tip roll and find what works best for you. And then I guess price, obviously Nova is cheaper, 50 whole dollars. So now for the sound. Chopin has a little bit of a delay in that bass tuck that I mentioned before, and it has a little bit more of the sub bass. So that bass shelf is overall higher and it creeps in a little bit more. So that results in a fuller sound, maybe a little bit less separation from the mids, but that's what gives it its intimate presentation in my opinion. So while stage sounds a little bit more closed in, it still has the capability of keeping everything separate. So it's a very intimate, full-bodied sound while Truth Ear Nova a little bit more open a little bit more separated just a little bit thinner and lighter so lean give and take that would be your preference I still prefer the Chopin I enjoyed it more even though I do prefer the leaner signatures that sound more open it's just that bass on the Chopin just felt very visceral and satisfying rewarding so that's it Truth Ear Nova Truth Ear Ear one, not two, not truth ears, truth ear Nova. It's a good set. Um, uh, I'm, I'm trying to implement, you know, like a rec rating as I'm calling it right now. It's probably going to be what it's going to stay. Um, it is already up on the, on my audio gear ranking list, but that way, if you guys are watching the video, I give you more of a definite gauge of what I think of the set. So rec rating, I would give this a two two so let me explain that zero is do not recommend no reason to get it probably something better out there or just not good one is it's not a solid recommendation just maybe demo it maybe do more research which you should always do as much research as possible never trust reviewers you can only trust your own ears but one is you should look into it a lot more really think about it there is better options and better value so it's like a iffy recommendation like it's yeah it's good you might have better options looking for something else two which is a nova nova is a two it is wait for a sale demo and wait for a sale that way you know you get more value out of your purchase and it's not something amazing that you must jump on right away truth your nova solid well-tuned set some people might consider it a little boring a little you know too neutral some people already have sets that sound like it it is worth waiting for a sale saving some money it is not something you need to jump on and then three three is now correct me if i say this wrong my too lao bye 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 yeah my malaysian homies please let me know correct me in the comments i've only read the words so i don't know how to pronounce it but three is solid set i recommend it probably worth the msrp you should demo it and see if it's good for you and if it is bye worth the msrp i wouldn't expect many sets to get that i'm really i'm pretty stingy with my money so it's hard for me to tell you guys to go buy something so that's it truth ear nova solid two rec rating wait for a sale go demo it check it out see if it's for you i personally like the set i want to have my own uh copy of the set so i can use it as my on the go variations i want it to be my beater variations at whatever a third of the price or whatever it is variations is like too expensive nowadays it feels like it's like who who goes and buys that when you can get something that's decently close for a lot less money for those of you guys that are trying to ask or want to know how close kind of hard to kind of hard to tell like overall sound i guess maybe 80 ish percent of a variations so this is in my opinion pretty close i just still enjoy variations a lot more personally but if you guys are looking for a good alternative truth your nova again thank you patreons for making this video possible thank you guys for tuning in i love you guys and until next time you stay awesome friends Bye.